What is up guys? Sent here, back at it again with another MLB video. Today we're going over a catcher's tier list. And today, let's get into it quickly and let's start. Right here we got Jose Trevino. Well, he's not great. I, you could argue to put him in trash, but he's decent defensively, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put him up below average. He can't hit for shit, but I think he's okay defensively. Eliash Diaz, outside of cores, he's here. Inside cores, he's here. So he's a little bit in between. I'm going to throw him an average just because he's got almost 20 homers, thanks to cores, though. And he has like a 750 OPS, which is good, but it's not great for cores. Cores definitely makes Eliash Diaz, but he is definitely an average catcher for the Colorado Rockies, in my opinion. Okay, next we got Jorge Alfaro. Also want to put him in the average category. I think that makes sense. Buster Posey, all-star category in my opinion. Buster Posey is a pretty damn good catcher. People still need to get that Buster Posey is not washed. People think Buster Posey is washed, but they are 10,000% wrong on that one. Next we got Danny Jansen. Very good defensively, so I'm going to put him in average. Mitch Garver, also going to be... I'm actually going to put him at the good. He's a really good hitter, terrible defensively. But I think he's still at least deserving of good just because of how good of a hitter he is. Next, we got Austin Nola. I mean, when Austin Nola is not injured, he's in good. I picked him in fantasy. Thought he was going to have a good year, but he got injured. But I'm, I think he's still a good catcher. I, I think Austin Ola is a good catcher, and I think he belongs in the good category. Also, JT Real Muto, superstar. Um, uh, Martin Maldonado. This guy almost made the fucking All Star game, just because Astros fans vote like crazy. They, they, they almost had like the flipping Kansas City Royals like team in 2015. Just that was fraudulent, and the votes were all fraudulent for that. Just Houston, I don't even think it was fraudulent because it was like five players. It wasn't the whole team like flipping KC was getting. And that ended up proving to be votes by bots and stuff. But Martin Molinari, you belong in below average. Max Stassi, I'm going to throw him in good. He's getting to the all-star range, honestly. I'm not going to lie. So far, he's the best player in good, in my opinion. And then Garver, then I would say Austin Nola. Mark Zanino, also going to go in the good category. He's having an all-star year this year, but that is not normal for Mark Zanino. But I think he's still a very good catcher, in my opinion. I think he's probably like the second best player in good right now. Maybe even the best over Stassi. It, it's close. Omar Narvaez. This is going to make people mad at me, but I'm going to put him in good. He can only hit first one side of the plate. That's his problem. He's a platoon with Manny Pena. That 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 just brings him down a bit, in my opinion. But hey, he's a good hitter when he is hitting as the platoon. But he's not great just because he's a platoon. Pedro Severino, also going to go in the below average category. Also, I don't think there's really going to be anybody in the trash category because these are all starting catchers. Starting catchers at least have some value. Not all of them, not any of them, I don't think, are trash, really. S there might be a trash one, but I'm not sure so far. I think most of them are just below average. Then you have backup catchers. You see a lot of trash ones there. Roberto Perez. I'm going to throw Roberto Perez in the average category. He's a horrible hitter, but he is very, very, very good defensively. Not as good as Austin Hedges. I think Austin Hedges should be the starting catcher for the Indians. But the Indians have very good defensively catch, defensive-minded catchers. Sean Murphy is next. Had a bit of a weird year, but I think he belongs in the average category. He hasn't really gotten it going a ton so far, but... Hey, Mark Zanino. Not Mark Zanino. Sean Murphy does what you need him to do. Salvador Perez. Mm, oh, he's the best hitting catcher, and it's actually I don't think so. I think there's a better hitting catcher, to be honest. Just because, 
We'll get to it when we get to them. Yeah, you can probably guess if you can see the players right now. Yeah, there's only, like, one more, like, one that's going to go an all-star or superstar. Maybe another all-star. But next, Tucker Barnhart. Tucker Barnhart, he's not going to go into below average. He's not. He's probably going to go average. Yeah, I'm going to put him at average. Tucker Barnhart, he's not a great hitter, but he is very good defensively and has won a couple gold gloves, I'm pretty sure. That gold glove is a really flawed stat, but he is very good defensively. Jacob Stallings. Jacob Stallings. I want to put him in all-star, but he's got to go in good. Jacob Stallings is amazing defensively. He he runs with a grand piano on his back, but a, he is still a very good hitter. So I think he belongs in the good category right now. Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly. I want to put him in all-star, but he's also going to go in good. He's a very good catcher, in my opinion. I think he does his job very well. Pretty good defensively. Basically, just the catcher does his job. And catchers that do their job just are great because catcher is a hard position to find guys that do their job. I think catcher has the mo the le I mean the least amount of superstars in the sport. I think there's only two superstar catchers, in my opinion. Might just be my opinion, but I think there's only two. Travis Darno. Ah, uh, 60 game season wants me to put him in good, but it's only a 60 game season, so I think he's average. I don't think he belongs with a lot of guys here. I think he's the best in this category besides maybe Sean Murphy. But I can't judge but I can't justify putting him with guys like Mark Zanino, Max Stassi, and guys like Mitch Garver. I just can't justify putting him with those guys. Also, Carson Kelly can't justify putting him with him and Jacob Stallings. He he's like the best player in average, but I think he's just an average catcher. Next, we got Gary Sanchez, also going to go in the good category. Gary Sanchez is a good catcher. Horrible defensively. And I mean horrible. But he has a pretty dang good bat, in my opinion. And he does his job with the bat, but he, he he's horrible as a catcher. It, it, it gets bad at times. Next, we got Tom Murphy. Yeah, we got Tom Murphy. That was the first guy I forgot so far that I had to look up. Sorry, Tom Murphy. Let's. I, I gotta look at your stats. Okay, Tom Murphy, you're going in the below average category, in my opinion. You're just not a great catcher. I mean, you're okay, but you're not great. If, if I'm wrong on that, I don't really know how Tom Murphy is defensively because I kind of forgot Tom Murphy existed. Okay, next, we got James McCann. Sheesh, I don't know where to put James McCann, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to put him at average. I, I hear a lot of hate from Mets fans, but listening from Mets fans is pretty bad logic. But I, I just think he's an average catcher. Wilson Contreras, going to throw him an all-star. I think Wilson Contreras is a top five catcher. I'm putting top five catchers in All-Star and Superstar. Only think there's two guys in Superstar, and I think I'm going to put Wilson Contreras as my fifth guy in All-Star. I, I just don't think any other guy's going to really mess with Wilson Contreras there. Besides maybe Jacob Stallings or Max Stassi or Mark Zanino. Yeah, I, I think Wilson Contreras gets to that spot. Christian Vasquez, good catcher. Pretty good defensively. Uh, Hitting-wise, not great, but he's decent there. I think he has actually the second most... I, I was seeing some stat. He has, like, the third most, like, fantasy points this year. That's insane. That is a guy you would not expect that from. I didn't even think he was that good of a hitter, but he must be hitting well if he's got good, a good bit of fantasy points going for him. The Buffalo. I want to put him in average... Honestly, just because it was bad, I'm going to put him at average, but he's not great defensively. Get well soon, the Buffalo. Hopefully, your ACL injury is not going to really hurt your career. Also, my bad. I got to throw Wilson in good because I missed this guy right here. Yeah, I guess Monty's an all-star. I, I think Yasmani's better than 
flipping Wilson Contreras. I think Yasmani's a top three catcher in baseball. I think he's third just because of his defense. His defense is insane. Also a decent hitter. And next, we got to go with the best catcher in baseball. Will Smith in Superstar. Yep, get him in there. Will Smith, best catcher in baseball. He has like 48 homers, an insane average and shit, great OPS, in his first 669 or something at bats. That's insane! This man is the best catcher in baseball. And don't even try to tell me Salvi's better. He literally has better hitting stats than Salvi. And way better defensively. Alright, next. Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes, I think he's just an average catcher. He used to be really good defensively. I think he's still pretty good defensively. But he, he's a shell of his old self. And Yadier Molina, we're going to throw him a trap. I'm kidding. We can't do that to Yadi. But honestly, Yadi's still def- decent de- defensively. So I'm going to throw him in good. And isn't he like 38? How the hell is he still good defensively as a catcher? How the hell is he still playing catcher? That's insane. The fact that he's doing that, I think he deserves to be in the good category. I don't think he's all-star anymore. I think he used to. But that's about it for this video. Yadier Molina is still a good catcher, and don't fight me otherwise. And that's about it for the video. See ya, and goodbye.